Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna show you how I turn ideas, very simple ideas into, into songs. So here's a, a simple example of an idea. In general, ideas are easy to come up with. The hard thing about ideas is the execution side of the idea, actually putting the idea into place. And a big burden about songwriting and building a song from scratch is you're doing the idea generation and the execution in the same session. What helps me a lot is to separate those two things, the creation of ideas and the execution of ideas. So for the rest of the video, I'm gonna talk about how you can create a system to get ideas. And then the second thing is how to create a system to execute those ideas. And then on top of that, at the end of the video, I'll talk about some different strategies that you can use to overcome the roadblocks and hurdles that can sometimes come, that will often come with the execution of ideas. First thing is how to generate ideas and how do you create a system around generating ideas? Your system will depend on you. For example, if you enjoy reading, that can be a system to generate ideas for songs because you enjoy reading so you can look out for lyrical ideas to songs. This can be just as simple as making sure that when you go and read something, that always just have in the back of your mind, hey, I'm open to a cool lyrical idea for a song. Then when you have this idea, you make note of this idea in a notes app or in, on, a, on a piece of paper to track those ideas that come up. That's a good segue to talk about the system that I used to generate ideas, which is practicing guitar. When I pick up the guitar to practice guitar, I'm focusing on practice, but I'm always open to an idea that might come up if I'm playing a scale or I hear a cool note or if I'm playing a chord progression. And it almost happens every single practice session that I do, which is a daily basis for at least an hour. I usually come up with some type of m melodic or musical idea that I can take note of. So that's, that's the process for generating ideas for me. Now, the system around that is whenever an idea come up, comes up, I just make note of it in the voice memos app in an iPhone. I record the voice memo, I put new idea then the date, or sometimes it's just new idea, and that's it, I can forget about it. And after every practice session that I do, I come up with an idea, I do that, and now I've created this kind of archive of ideas that I can reference later on when we talk about building the system to execute those ideas. You can see that once you've broken up the creation of ideas versus the execution of ideas that when you're sitting down to write a song or to put an idea into you know a product of to build it out you don't have to worry about coming up with the idea you've already done that you have your archive of ideas and that was kind of easy to come up with just because you were practicing guitar you were having a conversation with a friend you were jamming with friends you were reading a book and you've just built this archive of ideas. So let's talk about the system to execute those ideas now, and let's kind of put it into practice with the idea that I showed you at the beginning of this video. The simple thing at the beginning is you just need to carve out time to actually get the ideas generate, or not generate, to get these ideas executed, right? You need to say two hours, three hours, one hour, whatever, I'm gonna be doing execution of an idea. Second thing, which is actually the, the easiest and fun thing about the execution of the idea is to just choose the idea that you want to execute. And so this kind of brings back in the first system that we use to generate the ideas, which is you just go through the ideas that you've now accumulated and you pick one that you're most excited about. For me, I go pick up my voice memos app, I scroll through and I'll start playing the ideas. And as soon as I see, or sorry, I hear something that I'm excited about, I pick that idea. Once I'm excited, I just start doing the execution. I'm not like wondering and overthinking, is that a good idea, blah, 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 like overthinking everything. I'm just looking purely for excitement because that's gonna help you push through the first bit of uh, execution before you get your first roadblock, but we'll talk about how to beat those roadblocks uh, in a little bit. Okay, so let's get into the weeds a little bit and just get away from the theoretical stuff so, so much. I got the idea in my phone, pop it over with AirDrop because AirDrop is so fast, right over to Logic, and I just drag it in. So I've done that already. I have the voice memo recording here. And 
just notice this is the idea that I built around. This entire song was all built around this exact idea. I like to actually re-record that voice memo and make making sure I'm in time because when I just have the idea, I'm not playing to click at all, so it's it's a bit loose. I'm not so worried about quality of recording. I'm not really worried about effects because if I like this idea when it's a completed song, then I'll re-record things. But right now I'm just like production stage. This is fun. Next thing I did was I put a bass on because that's what I just heard in my head. A big, mean bass, Moog style bass. I just thought that fit well. You essentially just want to be like a a child at this point like you're just throwing paint uh, on a piece of paper and like whatever you hear in your head next thing i heard was lots of vocals so i had this harmony stack put a neo soul drummer kit on there customized it a little bit down here more guitar now this is a lot easier in hindsight right because it's just like added this added this the ideas came to my head in in a way it should be easy and the ideas should come to your head and once you have the, the skill set to just lay them out quickly like this it does become easier but i understand that this is a bit more you know easier said than done right now the goal of pushing through and trying to find forward motion with the execution of your idea should be to find what that song is about for you for example production in this chorus just have a listen oh where the road will lead does anyone know well i've been trying to do the right thing before i get old that mood is the song for me so i would say like you know i've built the idea up to this point and that is the idea that is the the executed idea is that mood and so I, now i chisel away at that idea what really killed me at the beginning of my songwriting career was overthinking and was this this uh, practice of not letting ideas blossom and grow so when you are taking an idea that's very fragile and trying to execute it and build it into something you have to be pretty easier, easy with yourself to what ideas you're going to build on top of that one idea. So don't be so pessimistic or negative, uh, or don't be so closed doors when you when you add a melodic idea or when you add a piano part idea or a bass line. If you just keep saying no to any new idea that comes up while you're building the song, you're going to get nowhere. Now, how do you overcome the roadblocks that come, especially in songwriting, but come in general from executing an idea. I'm going to talk about four strategies that help me overcome these roadblocks that will likely help for you as well. First strategy would be pin it and come back to it. Very easy to do because you just have to just stop doing the thing and then and you come back to it. It's kind of like resetting your objective opinion on something. For this um, lyrical one, I actually just stopped trying to write and focused more on the production. So I added a lot more harmonies and had fun with adding harmonies. And then I went back to the lyrics. And in the process of doing that, the chorus kind of opened up. And then it was just like, hey, here's what the chorus is going to sound like. It doesn't work every time. Like the next time you come back to it, you know the answer. But oftentimes you, it does work. And that just saves you so much time. Number two is don't reinvent the wheel look at what other people are doing for example if you're struggling in the production of something or the beat of something or a baseline of something look at another song you're inspired by and look at what they're doing can you copy some of that there is a, a a fine line when it comes to copying things because you can't just outright copy something right that's just that's just no no good for anyone you can be like oh i like that i'm inspired by that i'm gonna i'm gonna copy a bit of that and just make it my own on top of that, add something else. So you're kind of like taking a copy of it, but you're adding your own flavor to it. And then with that, it's your own idea. And third thing is to try something new. If you are roadblocked lyrically or production wise, what you can do is just 
do the thing that you wouldn't normally do. So if you can't come up with a chorus progression or a chorus beat or a chorus bass line or a lyrical idea that bringing everything together, what would you normally do? You might sit there at your keyboard and try to write lyrics. Well, what about going to dictionary.com or, or opening up a thesaurus or opening up an atlas and looking at words? Or what about if you're trying to make a beat, trying to drag in a Logic Pro drummer track and customizing that? If you constantly do the same thing, you're going to get the same outcome. If you do something different, you're going to get a different outcome. The fourth thing is to the song you're writing, the song you're executing on from the idea that you've generated is not the only one, it's one of. So what I mean by that is the song you're making should be considered one of thousands of songs that you end up creating and not like this this one song that has to be amazing because if you put first of all if you think like that that's an incredible amount of pressure to have in a session where you're trying to take an idea from zero to one and you already have pressure that this has to be the most amazing thing versus just take all that pressure off yourself and just say to yourself this is going to be one of a thousand songs or one of a thousand ideas that I take from zero to one. And then when that pressure is gone, you just might end up making the best song you ever made anyways. That's some thoughts on how I turn ideas into songs. And here's a video here where I actually did this, had the idea and I made it um, into this song called Goodbye. Listen to the song and let me know what you think. I hope to see you guys in the next video. My feet making castles so wide, never felt so alive. I remember, remember, remember.